Hello, I am Anne Salter and you're watching the news from International Business Times UK. Following the devastating fire at the overcrowded Comeyagua prison in Honduras, forensics teams have begun the arduous task of moving the estimated 359 bodies to a local mortuary for identification. Nearly all the bodies of the men are unrecognisable after the blaze, as most of the dead were trapped in their cells and couldn't escape. Crowds of grief-stricken relatives gathered outside the jail site, desperate to hear if their loved ones were amongst the hundreds killed in the deadly prison fire. This fire is one of the worst prison fires ever in Latin America, and the prison, which housed 850 prisoners, was way over its intended 400 capacity. The Honduran president, Porfirio Lobo, has ordered a full investigation into the tragedy and is working with the prisoners' families, providing aid and assistance. He has vowed to raise prison standards in the country and pledged that the National Congress will set up a commission of senators and specialists to allow for a thorough investigation into what happened. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for more news and updates throughout the day. I am Anne Salter and you're watching internationalbusinesstimes.co.uk.